Hello everyone, this is day 3 of 100 days of code in IoT challenge. Up until now, I've mostly played around with the output voltage. So something like, you know, controlling the digital pins using the board. Today, I'm going to do the opposite. So instead of setting a different amount of voltage, low or high, on the digital pin using digital write, I'm going to use digital read instead and read the voltage that is being sent to the pin. Let me show you the parts and components that I'm going to use today. So today we're going to use breadboard with microcontroller attached already. This is from yesterday. A uh, bunch of wires. A button. Diode also from yesterday. And this 10k, 10k ohms resistor. But that's gonna be for later. Okay, I'm going to assemble the first simplest circuit. So we're gonna start from the breadboard. And what I'm gonna do is to take this button here and I'm going to attach it here. Let me just explain how the button works. So basically, by, by attaching it here, uh, I connected these four pins with these four pins. Because that, that part of the button is connected with this part of the button. I can even show you, I have another button here, I'm just gonna put it the other way, the other way around. And you can see there are two, two lines here, right? That means this, these sides are connected, but these sides are only connected. Oh, it's, it's hard actually to show. These sides are only connected when the button is pressed, right? So I'm going to attach wires and demonstrate. So let's pick one of the pins. I'm gonna I'm gonna get D5 and stick it st stick the wire in. I'm going to connect it on this side of the button. Okay. And then I'm going to take another wire, attach it at this side, and that's going to be connected to the ground. G and D here. Okay. And now, now quick explanation how this works. So when the button is released, we don't have a connection between those four pins in the row 28 and those four pins. Those four and those four, again, they're connected by, by the button because these sides are connected. The same with 30, these sides are connected. When the button is released, we don't have connection between row 28 and 30. When I press the button, and hold it, then we get the connection. So when the button is pressed, we have the we have the electricity flowing from D5 to the ground. Okay, let's move to the code now. Okay, so what we've got here is the code from day one, and I'm going to modify it. I'm gonna start here by changing the pin mode the first argument to D5, this is the pin I connected uh, the button to. And this time, the mode is going to be input pull up. Why input pull up, not input? I'm going to explain in a second. But for now, let's just, let's just keep in, input pull up. Um, on, for the loop, on the other hand, we're not gonna have any delays. And instead of digital write, we're gonna have digital read. And that is gonna be also on pin D5. Digital read takes just one argument, which is the, the pin number. And it basically returns a value, which is the output is either one or zero, depending whether the voltage is high or low. 
and as a as another as the next step i'm going to use the if conditional and check if the output equals high or low if it's high we're just going to uh, just going to print high and low otherwise okay let me just build this quickly so the board is connected and now I'm going to deploy the code Okay, it's deployed. Now let me connect to uh, to the serial monitor. Okay, so we're getting high, and I'm gonna press the button, and we get low. When I release the button, high, low. Let me just show you here. So I've got a button here, low, high, low, high. Right, it works. So based on that, we can send signals to the board and depending on what the signal is, do something else. And what I'm gonna do right now is to uh, connect the diode like we did yesterday and I'm going to control this, this diode with the button. Like yesterday, we're going to connect our our diode I'm just gonna put it here so this is between 22 and 24 the longer end of the of the diode is is sticked in 22 and now I'm gonna use the cable let me just take the shorter one and I'm gonna connect it to pin D1 and the other end of the cable right next to the longer end of the diode which is in a row 22 and I'm gonna take the, the longer cable and that's gonna be connected to row 24 where the shorter end of the diode is and that is gonna go to the ground Ground here is exactly the same like ground here. They all go to the same to the same ground. Let me actually do a small improvement here. So you're gonna use the the board in a way that uh, the breadboard that in a way that that is usually used. So let me just connect this short wire to the ground, and that's gonna go to our minus column and then those two wires I'm just gonna connect here so all of this is going to the to the ground yeah that's that seems a little bit more complicated now but yeah don't worry it's just it's just a, a input with the button and then the the output uh, with the diode which is exactly the same like yesterday Okay, now to the code. As you can see, in this if we're just printing high or low depending on the state of our input pin, what we want to do first is to add another pin, set, set, a, set a, a mode for another pin, which is D1. This is the one where we uh, connected our diode to. I'm going to set it to output and then here just next to the to our print and the LM I'm gonna use digital write digital write on the one and that is going to be set to low why low because yeah uh, as you probably noticed 
when the button was pressed, we got the low status, the low voltage. When the button is released, we get the we, we get the high voltage read. So it's sort of all the way around. Okay. It is a bit confusing though, but I'm going to explain in a second how this actually how this internally works uh, and why the input input pull up needs to be needs to be uh, passed as a second argument instead of just input. Okay, let me just build this and deploy. Okay, that's done. Now the serial monitor. Okay, we get high and low. And now let's just test it. All right, it works. All right when I press the button, the diode lights up. Great. That was easy, right? Okay. But I guess you, you're probably interested uh, how that works like internally because it's not that easy. It's not just the, the, it is about the flow of electricity, but there's a certain way that electricity, electricity flows that allows for this to happen. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but without uh, the input pull up mode. Just gonna use input. So I'm gonna keep keep the, the, the circuit the same. I changed the D5 to input and I'm gonna deploy the code. Let's see what we get. Okay, code is deployed. Okay, now I'm gonna press the button. We get low. I'm gonna release the button and we still get low. I'm gonna press. Yeah, the, the diode still is switched on and there is nothing I can do. Okay, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to finish the video now because it's almost 15 minutes and there is still lots of information to cover. Um, however, uh, before I do that, uh, let's just quickly have a look at this website and the list of the pins. So here we have the information uh, on the pins, whether we can use them as input or outputs, and also some notes about the, uh, you know, if they can be, or if, you know, certain pin is, is uh, always pulled up or down, something like this. So yeah, have a look at that, link in the description. And yeah, uh, the rest on the subject, um, I am going to continue uh, tomorrow. Thank you very much for today. And uh, yeah, if you are interested in this type of content or you want to follow me doing the challenge, uh, subscribe to my channel. If you uh, want to give me feedback, you spotted a mistake with any of my explanation or you just have a question you want to ask, leave a comment. Cheers, bye.